Hi, now I'm going to teach you how to balance redox reactions in a base solution. So we are going to follow our steps. If you don't already know how to balance redox reactions, please go to my playlist. Um, it says balancing redox reactions. You also need to know how to balance an acid. So watch the video on balancing acid. You'll see me do it all, but that will, that will help you. And if you don't know how to name and label, look at the redox overview or how to determine if something gains or loses electrons. Okay, so here we go. Step one. First thing you do is write down the oxidation numbers. Um, I have this complete redox equation and it says to balance it in base. All right, so write down the oxidation numbers. Elements in elemental form are always zero. We've got a minus two and a plus one. Four, our hydroxide gives us a net minus one. We've got three of those, so that's minus three. Aluminum must be a plus three. Hydrogen is a plus one. Oxygen must be a minus two to equal that charge of a minus one on that ion. Okay, now we're going to see what changes. Aluminum goes from a zero to a plus three. Okay, let's think about this. I'm at perfect zero. Plus three means that we've lost three electrons. It's down by three electrons. So here's perfect zero, and now I'm down by three. So what happened from reactants at zero to products at plus three? We lost three electrons. So lose three electrons. Lose electrons, that's Leo. Leo the lion says grr, Leo. Lose electrons, oxidation. So this is oxidation. Now whatever is oxidized is the reducing agent. Now sulfur goes from a zero to a minus two. Remember minus two means that we have two extra electrons. So I go from a perfect zero to up by two. What happened? We gained two electrons. So gain two electrons. This is the grr, gain electrons reduction. This is reduced reduction. And whatever is reduced is the oxidizing agent. Okay, we've labeled everything. Now let's just double check that the atoms being reduced and oxidized are balanced. One aluminum, one aluminum, one sulfur, one sulfur. Good to go. So now we can balance the electrons. Here we are, step five. We're going to do this by using coefficients. And the goal is to get the smallest number possible um, of electrons gained equals the electrons lost. We have three electrons that are lost, two that are gained. The smallest number those both go into is six. So I need to multiply that three by two. Here's how I do it. I put two on the aluminum. Remember, we always write the oxidation number for one atom. One aluminum is going to lose three electrons. So if I have two aluminums, multiply this by two atoms, we are going to lose six electrons. Okay. Sulfur, one sulfur gains two electrons, but I need to multiply that by three. Here we go. Three sulfurs, let's multiply this by three atoms, times the two electrons for each sulfur means six electrons total are going to be gained. Again, one sulfur is going to gain two electrons, so if I've got three sulfurs, it's going to gain a total of six electrons. Nice, so electrons are balanced. Now let's balance our atoms right here. Number six, so I've got two aluminum, two aluminum, three sulfur, three sulfur, and this is where you go, oh, wait, I don't get this, that doesn't make sense. I have oxygen and hydrogen on the product side, but I don't have any oxygen and hydrogen on the reactant side. That's why we're going to balance this in base. Okay, now give me grace. I've done this for lots of years. This is the easiest way for me and the easiest way I found for students to balance in base. What I want you to do is actually first balance it as if it is an acid, okay? So balancing an acid, that means you can add hydrogen and water anywhere you need to balance the hydrogen and oxygen. So we're going to pretend for just a second that we're balancing an acid. Let's count what we have for our oxygens. Two times three is six. I've got six oxygens. So I'm going to add six water molecules. Look at this. Six oxygen, six oxygen. Nice. Now let's look at the hydrogen. So I've got two times three is six hydrogen plus three, nine hydrogen on the product. On the reactant, six times two is 12. So I need to add three hydrogen. Now, if we were balancing an acid, done. Okay, it'd be finished, but we're balancing in base. So what we need to do is neutralize this acid. I cannot leave that hydrogen ion. That's an acid. How you do that is you add hydroxide, okay? Add enough hydroxide to neutralize every hydrogen, but 
Whatever you add to one side, you have to add that hydroxide to the other side. Let me show you what I mean. I have three of my hydrogen. I've got to neutralize that. So I add three hydroxide. Let me erase this six electrons so that's not confusing you. I'll put it up here, six electrons. Add that together, three hydrogen plus three hydroxide. Look at this, that gives me three water. It neutralized the hydrogen ion. But whatever you do to one side with hydroxide, you have to do to the other side. So I have to add the three hydroxide right here. Now, after I do this, I look at it to clean it up. Notice that we have water on both sides, six water, three water. We only want water on one side. So let's subtract the three water from this side. And that will give us three water. Okay. <laughs> Now, to write all this out, so notice this whole part, completely gone. That whole part is completely gone. Um, let me walk that through with you one more time, okay? So we balanced an acid, that wasn't too hard. I added my water, I added my hydrogen ion, but I can't leave that hydrogen ion. So I added enough hydroxide to neutralize the water, three hydroxide, whatever I do to one side, I have to do it to the other side. So there's my three hydroxide. Um, then you look at the water. Whichever side has more, that's the side that you're going to subtract the water from because you always want a positive when we're doing chemical reactions. So I subtracted the three water from over here and that means I have a total of three water right there. Let's rewrite it and we'll make it really nice and clean. So we're going to have three hydroxide plus three water plus two aluminum plus three moles of sulfur yields two moles of aluminum hydroxide plus three moles of the alt hydrogen sulfide ion. And there we have it. That is a redox reaction that's been balanced in a base. Now I want to show you another example. Every once in a while you'll be asked to balance a half reaction in base. Now remember a half reaction only shows half of the redox is either going to show the reduction part or the oxidation part. Um, and that's fine, that's fine. In half reactions, that's okay. Full reactions, you have to have something reduced and something oxidized. So let's do this one. And again, we're just following all eight of these steps. Number one, write the oxidation numbers. So you have a minus two, that's going to make manganese a plus seven. Minus two times four is minus eight. T equal minus one, manganese has to be a plus seven. Minus two times two is minus four, so manganese must be a plus four. Uh, so, manganese is going from plus seven, I'm down by seven, to a plus four, which means it gained three electrons. Grr, gain electrons reduction. So this is reduction. And remember, whatever's reduced is the oxidizing agent. Is it going to have to force something else to lose electrons? Um, now we are going to balance um, our atoms that are in the um, that are being oxidized or reduced. In this case, manganese being reduced. One manganese, one manganese. Great. Um, okay, so we've got our electrons. We're gaining three electrons. So where do I write that? You've maybe memorized when you gain electrons, you always write it on the reactant side. Uh, but let me help you figure that out. This has lost seven. That has only lost four. So that means we have to add three electrons to this side. Let me erase that so we have a little bit more room. We need to add three electrons to that manganese to get it to the MN4+. Plus. So for reduction, the electrons go on the reactant side. Okay, so we took care of this. Now, we need to um, balance all of the atoms. One manganese, one manganese, four oxygen, two oxygen. Now remember, we're going to pretend that we're balancing an acid. So I'm going to add hydrogen and water wherever we need it. If I have four hydrogen, two, excuse me, four oxygen, two oxygen, let's add two water because now I'll have four oxygen, four oxygen. But when I did that, I added hydrogen, four hydrogen. So let's put our four hydrogen over here. Now, again, if we were balancing an acid, it's done. We're finished, but we're balancing a base and I cannot leave that hydrogen ion. How do I get rid of it? Hydroxide. I add enough hydroxide to neutralize it. So I'm going to add four moles of hydroxide. And whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side, plus four moles 
of hydroxide. So when we add this up, it's going to give me four moles of water. From here, we just need to clean up the water. I've got two moles of water here, four moles of water here. Well, that two moles, if I subtract it across, will give me two moles. I'll just rewrite it as two moles of water. Okay, let me show you one more time. I don't think it's too hard balancing an acid. I added the two moles of water, so oxygen equals. I added hydrogen, so I have the hydrogen. You're good with that. Again, to neutralize that hydrogen, I added enough hydroxide, four moles of hydroxide, to neutralize the hydrogen, and whatever I do to one side, I do to the other side. So I added the four moles of the hydroxide on the product side. Um, add this together, gives me four moles of water. Well, I already had two moles over here, so if you subtract that across, that will leave me with two moles of water. Now let's rewrite it nice and clean. We are going to have, I'll start with the electrons, three electrons, and this whole thing dialed down to two moles of water plus one mole of permanganate yields this um, manganese four oxide plus four moles of hydroxide. And that is the balanced half reaction in a base. Okay, good workout, <laughs> really good workout. So, so proud of you. Please look at my play playlist under Redox if you had questions on anything I did. We've really built up to get to this point. Super proud of you. Impressive to be balancing Redox reactions in base. You're doing awesome. Have a great day. Thank you.